Teresa's Tale, Chapter 2. Hey, um, Lizzie, Teresa asked, do you know what animal to go as for throne coming? It says that I really need no idea for my outfit. Lizzie looked up at the hooded girl before she hit the hedgehog to the post. I was thinking you could go as a hedgehog. What about you, Raven? Do you have any ideas for Cerise? Raven said he lost control of her mallet because of her magic, which hit the hedgehog with such force it spread towards daring Tommy. No! Raven cried, riding after her hedgehog, which missed daring, but flew deeper into the enchanted forest. As Raven ran to get it, Daring looked towards Cerise and Lizzie and began to walk over to them. Well, Lizzie told him, if you're planning to ask me to do the throne coming ball, you can forget it. Off with your head! Daring looked startled. Are oh, you not going to ask me? She asked. No, I wasn't going to ask you to the ball, Lizzie. Daring told him in almost a stern voice. He then turned to Cerise his voice became sweet when he said, Cerise, will you come to the throne coming ball with me? Cerise nodded in agreement. Great, that takes the pressure off now. Thanks. So, what time are you going to be? Cerise shrugged as she raised her mallet to hit her heads off, but she completely, but she missed completely as her mallet grew wings and flew off. Cerise grumbled. That was my favourite mallet. Daring nodded. So, I'll see you next Sunday, he asked. Cerise looked confused. To talk about what animals we would be, and if we don't know what animal we want to go as, we could give each other some suggestions. Yeah, sounds cool, Cerise replied happily. After a few moments, Daring left and Raven returned, carrying her hedgehog. Sorry about that, she told them. It got lost in the enchanted forest, so it took me about 10, 20 minutes to find it. So we're going to carry on playing? Cerise and Lizzie nodded. Lizzie looked annoyed that no boy wanted to go with her to the throne coming ball. Meanwhile, Cerise is smiled as far away, beyond the enchanted forest, wondering what animal to go at. Lists and lists of animals ran through her mind. Should she be a snow fox? No, that was not her style. How about a dragon? Too scary, Sweet thought. Tried to get her mind to return to the game, but she was struggling to. All of a sudden, Lizzie interrupted her thoughts. It seems that wolves have tried to get to her to high. Cerise's wolf-like ears picked up. It seems a mystery why they would want to come here. Raven, what do you think? So they come to her after high will be told to leave. Raven shrugged her shoulders. On the one hand, it would mean that Cerise could make some wolf friends if she wants to. Raven shot a quick glance at Cerise, hoping she had overheard. But on the other hand, other royals would have been impressed. Lizzie, do you think they should come here? Yes, I think they should come. And that they should be allowed. Maybe a great chance to get to know new species. A few, after a few moments after hearing this, Cerise caught up and started to run. Hey, Cerise, Lizzie called. Where are you going? How have been in Wonderland okay yet? Come back or off with your head. Cerise continued to run, using her wolf abilities to out when Lizzie headed back to school. In her dorm room, Cerise decided to hex her dad to see what he thought of her idea. Cerise, hi dad. Dad, hi Cerise, how are things? They're going great, thanks. Dad, I need to ask you a question. Ask away, my dear. Well, the one coming is on his way and I want to go as a wolf. You think it will be alright if I uh, send my ears off, but say I have put them over my real ears and don't want to take them off? Dad. Cerise, if anyone finds out they are real, we will be sent to earth with disgrace. The master would have told me that if anyone else found out that we would be sent to earth, you can't risk it. But Dad, I promise that no one find out. Besides, all the rebels are slow. No. Dad, but see, the can't tell a lie. If she tells the royals that uh, I'm the big battle, they would tell her master grin. Don't do it. Cerise, sorry dad, but I have to go. Cerise turned off her mirror phone as she thought about what her father said. She had stumbled through the door as Cerise looked up. Hey Cerise, how are things going? Cerise was sitting down beside her on her bed. Not good. Is this because I just talked to my dad and he told me that if any of the royals found out our secret, we'd be sent to her. My dear Lizzie doesn't count. So it knows as well as daring. Cedar, what am I going to do? Cedar put a wooden arm around her friend to comfort her. I find out it's best to tell the truth, but it seems like it won't work at the moment. What can I do to help? Cerise shook her head. So you mean, there's nothing I can do for you? Cerise got up. Actually, there is. What is it? Cedar asked her as Raven entered the room, listening with excitement. I need you to say that my wolf ears were fake, so that it may be safe to sell them. 
Sweet, that is a right. Wait me down. The royals will find out eventually. More like they have, said a menacing voice by the door. Cerise and her friends had found that test one. That test. So it's growled with fury. What do you want? What do I want? That just asked me. Lee. Very happily ever after, of course. Now that everyone knows that your dad is a big bad wolf, seems like there is one available. But Cerise began. My dad said that to if any of the royals found out and told their master Grimm that he would manage myself, but my dad to earth. I'm not having it. There's no need to be like that, Cerise, that just told her, almost kindly. I made sure that none of the royals told until after the coming, so you'll be here for a while longer. Thanks, that says, Cerise squealed. Thanks.